This monthly movement minute is a threesome. We're going to talk about the sumo deadlift high pull, clean high pull, and snatch high pull. All three involve an explosive hip opening followed by a powerful shrug. The goal is to have the bar travel in as straight and vertical manner as possible. This will create power, efficiency, and consistency in both the full clean and full snatch. In none of the lifts should the biceps become engaged. Begin by setting your back, squeeze the bar off the ground before explosively opening the hips and shrugging powerfully. Your arms remain loose, becoming nothing more than ropes that connect your body to the bar. The only real difference in the three variations are in their setups. I recommend a hook grip on all three with your thumb captured against the bar by the fingers, which are outside. It is uncomfortable at first, but you will get used to it with repetition. In the sumo deadlift high pull, set your feet wider than a squat, but not so wide that your knees track inside your feet. Grip width is roughly two thumb distance apart. In the clean and the snatch, use your normal grip for these complete movements. Your feet, for most people, will be in a jumping stance. This is a great time to work on your start positions with your hips higher than your knees, but lower than your shoulders. There is room for individual variation, but 99% of people will start between these margins. The margins between the shoulders and the knees are brought closer together in the snatch as your chest gets closer to the ground to facilitate the wider grip. When doing multiple touch and go reps, there is a tendency to collapse at the bottom, rounding the back and placing your body at risk. If needed, it is okay to catch the bar at the hang to maintain a rigid spine rather than following the bar all the way to the ground in one motion.